Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be configuring Windows iSCSI. The reason why we need iSCSI is to connect to our ESXi host or to our vCenter. So in this video, we're gonna be configuring Windows iSCSI. And I'll show you behind the scenes what I did last night to set up everything under my desk with my hard drives and all that craziness. It took a while, but I got it working. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, so this is our ESXi server or our vCenter server with four hosts, right? So let's go to, let's just show you what I did here. I don't know if you can see this, but I have four ESXi servers, our domain controller, and we have an iSCSI server right here. It's this first one. So let's, let's go to that one right now and make this bigger. And let's make the resolution bigger so you guys can see. Let's do 200. All right, so what I did here, so if we go to a computer, this PC, I have iSCSI disk one and iSCSI disk two. So what I did is added two one terabyte drives or one, one terabyte, one, two terabyte, whatever, USB drives in my computer. And inside of VMware Workstation, we go to settings here, and we can see it's super small. You probably have to zoom in. We have two SATA drives. So you can just add a disk and then place the VMDK where you wanna have that. So in my case, I'll show you guys. On my local machine, right, this is super small, but I have iSCSI 1 and iSCSI 2. So one is one terabyte, one is two terabytes. This is all I had in my house. And I made the VMDK right here, okay? So obviously it was a lot of work behind the scenes and it took a while to get everything set up. So I just wanted to showcase that here. And on this VM, I have two NICs. One NIC for my VM net eight. Let me bring that, this little words over here. Let's make this a little bigger. All right, let's see. I think that should be big enough. Let's make it a little bigger. All right, so obviously you guys know my topology that I'm utilizing. The NAT, uh, uh, VMNet 8 is my NAT production network. And uh, v, uh, VMNet 10 is going to be my iSCSI host-only network. And what I made this network is 10.10.10.102. That's going to be my IP address, slash 24. So you can create a new network inside of VMware very, very easily. Let's just, let's, uh, let's minimize this for now. Let's bring this back over here. And then let's go ahead and cancel this. All right, so inside of file, uh, virtual network editor, I wanna go ahead and See here, I don't know, it's super small and I can't make this larger. So VMNet 10, a uh, host only, it's connected. And my DHCP settings, let's go ahead and go there. We can see it's 10.10.10.200 .10 to 254. This is only gonna be host only with a slash 24 bit mask, okay? So that's why I made that one, what did I make it? Uh, do, 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 do 102, which is outside of the DHCP scope. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel that. And now you guys can see. And then once it's installed, once you have the VMDK, you have to go into Disk Manager. So when you go to Disk Management, you'll see your drives, right? They're, they're gonna be unallocated, so you just allocate them. I use REFS, so Basic Data Protection, and that's what I use for my, uh, my setup, okay? So now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and configure the iSCSI, right? So super simple, let's go to manage, add rules and features. Let's go to next here. It's a basic role, it's a role-based iSCSI, that's perfectly fine. And in here we have file server. And then we have file and iSCSI services. So we wanna make this an iSCSI target server, add features, all right, that should be good. Let's hit next. Next, install. Once this is installed, we should have the feature right, right here. Obviously we don't have it yet, but once this is done, we're gonna have iSCSI targets 
And then in the next video, we'll actually set up everything. This is just to configure the iSCSI and get it installed. So let's just get this working, make sure everything is good and we should be golden. And the next one, we'll, we'll see what's up, all right? As you see it populated right here, iSCSI. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's click on iSCSI and then we can create an iSCSI. Uh, what did it say? Let's cancel this for a second. Create an iSCSI virtual disk. All right. We can add this and we have these two right here that we're going to tinker with. Right. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and set all this up, the targets, the the whole shebang. All right. Let's go ahead and cancel this. This is how you set up iSCSI. And just make sure you make two drives, however big. You can make them at least 500 gigs. That will be good. And I've made them 750 just so, you know, once you're done with the labs, once I'm done with everything for all these videos, I have uh, a total here. So far, I have like 25 videos. So hopefully I get to every single one because obviously we have limitations. I thought I had a limitation here, but I was able to make this work. Just remember, there's a lot of work that goes into these videos behind the scenes and I have to make magic happen. So hopefully this was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a description or a comment in the description below. And until next time, have an awesome day.